Good morning, everybody. Hope all is going well in whatever corners of the world you're joining from. Thank you for joining um, this seminar on what's new in Malaysia for 2020. Um, so we will, I will start. Um, and again, thank you for joining and listening. So let's get started. Uh, so what's new in Malaysia for 2020? As a new PM in Malaysia over the last year, I've responded to the need for creating travel content, uh, for creating need to create creative travel content, um, developing unique and experiential travels and experiences, some of which will I'll introduce you today as will be outlined on the webinar shortly. We're also responding to the emergence of local trends, and new development, such as developing new and exciting Linkawi experiences for FITs, families, and clients that are looking to explore more of the island archipelago. We're including new hotels into our multi-day tours and to our portfolio, including those in Kuala Lumpur, Borneo, uh, Janda Bike, just outside of KL, as well as other destinations throughout the peninsula, as well as east of Borneo. Next destinations that we'll be exploring for new and exciting experiences by the EXO product team uh, will be the East Coast. And so we'll be looking really for fishing villages to kite making experiences and lots more. But for now, let's see what's new um, and exciting for this coming year. So the outline of the presentation, I'm going to go through some experiences, um, new things, that we have for our Lux guests, for our exclusive gifts. I'll talk about a bit of EXO Foundation Partners uh, with Orangutan Appeal UK, uh, looking at some new flight routes, as well as the new EXO experiences. These are a taster of what's to come. Let's start. So a new and exclusive gift that we have by Lux by EXO is a Bungai Tarung leather luggage tag, handcrafted by an artisan in Sarawak, inspired by the eggplant Borneo flower, uh, which is the local famous flower, but also it's a local famous tattoo that the Ebans get. Once they come of age, they normally get them on their upper chest. Um, and it is a mixture of the eggplant flower as well as the swirls of a tadpole. Um, so these are available um, for any of our Lux clients. Um, and they do take between two to four weeks to arrive at the office, depending on the stock. Um, but we do have them available. Um, so yeah, the tadpole that swirls symbolize the beginning of new life. Um, they're extremely well made and crafted. Um, and they're a perfect gift for those luxury clients. Um, so to add on to the itinerary. So EXO Foundation has partnered with Orangutan Appeal UK um, with their adoption scheme in Sepalak um, Orangutan Rehabilitation Center, which one of which is one of our highlights in Sandakan. The rehabilitation process begins as soon as any orangutan is admitted to the center with the aim of returning orphan, orphan injured and displaced orangutans back to the wild. And this process takes takes anywhere from six to eight years. Um, so from just 55 US dollars per year, you or your clients could help get an orangutan back to the wild by helping to support Cephalon um, through the orangutan appeal. And any of the orangutans that make it through the rehabilitation phase get released into a 4,294 hectare uh, ability Cephalon forest reserve, which is a combination of mangrove forest, jungle, um, and it's a perfect habitat for the orangutan. Um, right now, we can adopt Archie or Betty, and a highlight is that if the clients did um, adopt the orangutan prior to arrival, um, sometimes they actually get to see their orangutan that they've adopted playing in the junior playhouse or outside in the platforms, the feeding platforms. So it's a great one that we're supporting and um, it's a wonderful experience, Sepalak actually. So moving on from Sepalak, um, new air route. So experience the winning five-star service um, on flights on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays and Sundays uh, from Linkawi with Qatar Airways, which connects our clients to more than 160 destinations around the world. So it's definitely easier for your clients as they know longer have to go back to Kuala Lumpur to change planes. The flights from Langkawi to Doha do go through Penang, but you don't have to get off the plane. So it's a great way to explore um, part of the west coast without having to double back to Kuala Lumpur. And the routes are new as of October this year. 
So definitely we'll be looking at changing um, some of our itineraries and experiencing developing more starting from uh, Ling Howie all the way through down to say to Singapore. A much easier routing for some of your clients. Where to stay? Some of the upcoming hotels in 2020. Um, the Desiru Coast in the state of Johor, which expands about 3,900 acres along pristine 17 kilometer beachfront faces eastward over clear ocean water. Home currently to the Hard Rock Hotel, Weston, World Class Water Challenge Park, and the Elves of Desiru Golf Course. Um, will soon welcome guests at the new Anantara Desiru Coast. So, Anantara opened earlier this month. Um, they will be launching inspections as of next month for all the agents. Um, so your clients can indulge in luxury and unforgettable experiences in a range of accommodations nestled in this lush tropical garden. With 108 rooms, villas and residents, two pools, including a beachfront infinity pool, three dining options and access to multiple facilities, spa, gym, um, as well as they're right next door to the Elves Golf Club. Uh, the lead in is a premier room category of 49 square meters, located in a three story main building, um, all the way up to two, three, and four bedroom villas that have private plunge pools. They also offer a romantic or small group beach sand dining. Uh, which is the picture um, up in the corner. Um, so if you have honeymooners, if you have Lux guests that want a bit of an exclusive experience, um, say they wanted a heart-shaped dining area with candles or flowers or a square or a circle, as you see, they can do the custom made. So it's all done by the sand. Um, and these are perfect for romantic getaways or romantic dinner. Um, although they do need a two month notice for the um, sand building, but they definitely can do it. Um, so we will we'll have a team from Product um, and Exo Malaysia going down to visit Anantara um, next month and we'll feed back all the information and more pictures. Um, from the property inspection once it's done. So look forward to that in one of the upcoming newsletters. Your clients also can go to Desiru Coast and stay at the new one and only. So opening or scheduled to open in March 2020 this year is this highly anticipated May, um, hotel, which made it onto Forbes Modi 40 most anticipated luxury hotel openings for 2020. Inspired by the beauty and the traditions of Malaysia's enchanting Southeast, this collection of suites and private homes will be set in a secluded retreat between lush rainforests and powdered white sand. Um, it will offer king suites with interconnecting room options all the way up to four bedroom villas. So it's suitable for couples, groups, and families that can unwind with this expansive indoor and outdoor living space. So the Desiru Coast is about four hour um, drive from Kuala Lumpur and about two hours drive from Singapore. So it's a perfect location um, to start a beach getaway um, if you're coming in from Singapore. Um, and it's definitely a great option for families uh, with, with kids, with the water park, um, as well as the beach, um, and for adults with the golf and other spa treatments that they have around in the area. So moving on from Desiru Coast, we head up to Umbun Villa in Jandabaik. This is a recent discovery on our list, just 45 minutes outside of Kuala Lumpur, on the way towards Cameron Highlands. Fraser Hill and Terengganu, which uh, is towards the Chattering East Coast, is Mboon Luxury Villas. Set on the hillside of Jandabaik, surrounded by lush gardens and crisp air, these villas provide an exclusive getaway destination. 
Perfect for relaxation, it offers discerning travelers a retreat inspired by Bali, the private luxury pool villas, high level of hospitality, and excellent culinary delights will leave you feel calm and refreshed. All the great guests are treated like VIP, and with only 14 beds with eight villas, clients are assured a truly intimate experience. Um, there is one note though, alcohol is not sold at Umbun Villa, that the restaurant, but can be brought in and consumed in the villas. Um, a full board is also an option, and dining can be done at the restaurant, um, which is kind of the big pool view on the bottom right hand screen, or it can be done in the villa itself. Having stayed there, I would highly recommend breakfast on the restaurant and then dinner in the villas. Um, it's a little more private, um, but excellent location. And around Umbun um, Villas, we'll be developing more experiences. Um, so local communities, cycling, uh, cooking classes, and a lot more. So this is a great option for those that might not want to stay in Kuala Lumpur. Um, but still want that luxury experience or that have come in from a long flight and maybe not wanting to stay in Kuala Lumpur and want that private escape um, as it is only 45 minutes outside of KL. So our standout hotel from 2019 that's new is the Ruma Hotel and Residence. Um, it's a tasteful interior and distinctly contemporary Malaysian design. Attentive staff and they have a high commitment to supporting local producers through their culinary delights at Atas, uh, which is their in-house restaurant. This is a member of the leading hotels of the world. And as I said, it is our standout new hotel of 2019. Um, because one of their hostmanship service is excellent and their benefits are perfect for international clients coming in from long haul flights, especially their 24 hour check-in and check-out, um, as well as their EXO exclusive 20% um, discount at the Ur Spa uh, for 90 minute treatments. Um, it's an excellent hotel. Um, and in the heart of KL and excellent service. Um, it would really pair well with clients who are looking to stay at like the Datai in Lingkawi or clients that are looking for a little more upper field um, in Kuala Lumpur. So now to some new experiences uh, for 2020. So rather than simply hopping from landmark to landmark, our new tours are going deeper into the local culture, sites, and offering ex experiential experiences. So really getting into the, the nitty gritty and going deeper into the cultures um, of both Peninsula and Malaysia. So we have to definitely eat our way through Malaysia. So I'll highlight some new foodie tours. Um, that we have throughout uh, our range or our portfolio of experiences. So our new one takes to the streets of Malacca, um, this old UNESCO heritage town to discover the best local food. So you'll spend an evening walking and riding on a colorful rickshaw, tasting traditional Malay dishes influenced by overseas traders who came to Malacca over 2000 years ago. So run for generations, these family restaurants specializes in one type of dish, from satay to clay pots, dim sum, and tandoori, and much more. So on this evening tour, um, you taste, there are, taste a variety of different dishes by Malays, Indian, Chinese, and Arab traders to really gain a better understanding of Malaysia's electric culinary culture. Um, Our next foodie tour is Linkawi's Night Markets. So responding to um, a miss in the market or 
you know, getting those people out of Linkawi Hotel. Um, Linkawi night markets are amazing. Uh, every night they're at a different location. Um, so we tantalize the taste buds with a culinary evening walking tour of these famous night markets. So with the guide, you hit the streets and browse the vibrant evening markets and forget and forget about the cult cutlery as you shop and grab a little bite of everything that's delicious. Um, you gain an insight into Linkawi's foodie culture while mingling with locals. And you really get to enjoy your food being prepared before your eyes and served hot right from the pan. So the night market, um, they do happen Monday through Sunday. So and the markets are a variety, not just food. There's a lot of other things at the market. So it's a great way for um, clients to get out of the hotel and experience a little bit of Linkawi. Our next foodie tour is a Lux option or under our Lux by Exo line, and it's an insider access. So Kuala Lumpur Street Food, Hidden Art and Barns. So you'll walk down hidden laneways to discover um, six interactive daily murals um, that highlight and captivate the memories of Malaysia's China, Chinese community that date back, dates back to the 1960s. You get to sip a cocktail by watching the sunset over Petaling Street. Some say it's the birthplace of Kuala Lumpur. And find hidden speakeasies that you could easily walk right by. So with one of our Malaysian insiders, um, you really get to explore Kuala Lumpur's diverse local delights um, and get a glimpse into Chinatown through an interactive murals, but also through the insider herself, um, who is a native Kuala Lumpur. Uh, a native from Kuala Lumpur understands the Chinese market. Um, they can tailor the evening tour um, to vegetarians, as well as they can, can cater for other allergies, intolerances, and restrictions. Although we do have to check with them before, uh, or with our insider before anything else other than vegetarian. Um, as the tour involves premises, night bars that serve alcoholic drinks, we do encourage adults only and age 21 and above. For anyone who's looking at doing this amazing experience with under 20s, the tour can be tailored for customers, um, including children. The venues would serve both alcoholic and non-alcoholic beverages. Um, so it's a great evening tour. Um, and we recently had uh, an agent um, go on it and her partner was like, that was really great because we were here the other night and we didn't know any of this. Um, so she really takes you to hidden parts of Chinatown that you might not be able to find by yourself. We also have with the same uh, supplier, but another insider in Penang, a new insider access Penang food tour, as well as cocktails um, that also will be coming out shortly. I will be on the website soon. So both are amazing experiences for people who are looking to have that insider access and just feel a little more taken care of. So next, from the more adventurous or those who are looking to burn off the, all the calories that they eat while in Malaysia, um, we get to paddle, trek, or ride through Malaysia. So I'll highlight three new tours that are for the little more adventurous. So first we cruise to KK. So there's a sunset mangrove paddle boarding and firefly. And that UPS for these for this trip is to cruise through the Silliman Lake mangrove forest on a paddle board um, to enjoy a local cooked dinner along the riverbank and also to watch the flickering lights of the fireflies before heading back to Kota Kinabalu. So just 45 minutes outside of KK, um, is the mangrove forest. And there are a variety of animals and wildlife that people can see while uh, paddle boarding. And you have glorious skies and scenes of Mount Kinabalu in the background. Uh, the stand up paddle boarding is recommended for ages 10 to 60. 
the itinerary at times may be changed uh, depending on local weather conditions as well as the skill of the participants. So as you can see in the picture here, both participants are not standing. Um, so you can stand on the paddleboard, you can sit as well as you can kneel. So you go through the mangroves. So sometimes you do actually have to kneel because the mangroves are um, kind of like a canopy. Um, but it's an amazing experience. Um, quite a few of our staff have done it and come back with rave reviews. Uh, when I went, I saw uh, pro prohibis monkeys, macaques, and lots of different types of fish. So it's an excellent um, opportunity for clients to get out of KK and be a little more active in the evening. Our next adventure is a three-day, two-night, uh, so from EXO Adventure Department. Um, so Mount Bagadin, Perak. So for clients who are in the peninsula and don't have time to come over to Borneo but still want to do some trekking and see some amazing waterfalls, um, this is a perfect itinerary. So just three hours drive from Kuala Lumpur, you can escape on an adventurous trek to the peak, to the peak of Mount Bagadin, home to the indigenous people in Bador. Um, you can immerse yourself in natural landscapes and bountiful flora. En route, um, on the trek, there's an exciting 12 river crossings to reach to got waterfall and campsite where, of course, you'll be overnighting. And it's amazing and beautiful scenery. So our adventure manager has put this together and done an excellent job, and it is on the website for more details. The link is on the PowerPoint. So our third new adventurous uh, or more adventurous is Malacca by bike. And so this can be done either by um, ex Kuala Lumpur or ex uh, Malacca. So for clients staying in Malacca, it's a half day tour. For those coming from Kuala Lumpur, it would be a full day tour, including lunch. So you discover the main sites of Malacca by bike. So Malacca is a great city for cycling, especially along the beautiful canal. You stop at quite a few locations, including Village Sentosa, which is a Malay living museum. And you meet and get to talk to a village elder. And along the way, you get to taste some amazing delicacies um, that Malacca has to offer from cold tea to roti to a very ancient Chinese wine. Um, it is a private cycling program with an English-speaking guide. It's not suitable for children under the age of 12. Uh, the cycling distance is approximately six kilometers, and there's a maximum of eight people per group. Um, and it's a great day. We do encourage people to wear sunblock and hats while cycling. Um, but there are, as I said, quite a few stops in between to break up the, the cycling route. And it is a very leisurely cycle. So going deeper into the destination by interacting with learning about and supporting local artists and communities is going to be our next um, few tours. So we have a master artisan series. Uh, that we're developing um, in multiple locations around the peninsula and Borneo. These experiential experiences focus on interacting, learning, and supporting master artisans and their communities. Our first two experiences to be launched will include interactive experiences in Perak and Penang. So in Perak, you can join a local master and mold an earthenware Labu Sayong. Uh, which are the, the big black pots that keep your water very cool. Or you can listen to the myths of the Karis maker. Um, the Karis maker is a sword and a blacksmith. Um, and so that's in Kuala Bangsar, so between Ipoh and Penang. So these experiences uh, we will, uh, within the next week or two, will be on the website. And we have a full day tour um, as well as an add-on 
uh, for any overland journeys from Kuala Lumpur to Penang, or even from Ipoh to Penang, they can easily be fit on. Um, in Penang, we'll learn about the artistry of the Chinese puppet, shadow puppet, or the art of a rattan weaving with a local master craftsman. These experiences can be, as I said, added on to a journey um, or an already an experience, so turning a half day to a full day. Um, and we will be creating a full day uh, master artisans of Penang for families, especially including the, the puppets, the rattan maker, as well as one Chinese treat um, at the end for the kids. Um, so the master series, uh, these two will be in the peninsula. Uh, we have another one coming out in Borneo, which is coming soon. So our adventure specialist, Andreas, will soon be bringing you Marut Living Culture, Ride, Live and Learn. It's gonna be a multi-day experience that goes beneath the surface in a Marut village in North Borneo. So you get to ride the scenic mountain trails or through the local paddy fields. You get to interact with villagers, weavers, farmers, fishermen, um, as well as even learn Marut or how to speak Marut. Um, you can also learn how to cultivate patties, how to build fishing traps, or learn how to cook local recipes. This short getaway will provide an authentic rural and cultural experience while supporting a range of community initiatives. So the accommodation will be in a local house um, with staying with a local community. So um, it's going to be a great adventure program um, for clients or even families uh, that are looking to get off the beaten track in North Borneo. So once we've done this, we've interacted, we've eaten, we've cycled and tracked, we might just want to indulge and relax across Malaysia. So we have a few new Lux tours coming out. Um, uh, so our first one is Langkawi's UNESCO Geoparks by helicopter. So get a bird's eye view of Langkawi's natural landscapes from its lush rainforest coated hills to its rich mangroves rugged limestone terrain and emerald green waters aboard a helicopter. Enjoy the panoramic views of 99 islands that date back hundreds of millions of years on this hour long private helicopter ride that goes around the whole island. After the helicopter, you'll be transferred to a local restaurant to watch the beautiful sunset with either canapes and cocktails or dinner and cocktails depending what your clients would prefer. So there's two options. We will also have Linkawi Scenic um, Southern Islands helicopter tour, also combined with a local restaurant, um, sunset canapes and cocktails or dinner. And that flight is 30 minutes, uh, 25 minutes to 30 minutes. This particular flight is 55 to 60 minutes going around the whole island. So we do have some options in price category. Um, so these will be on the web within the next week as well, and our TCs currently have them. So uh, if you do want the, the information, not a problem, I could send it through later on. Um, so we do have a multi-day, a luxe one, a new one, a Borneo in style. So for anyone who's ever dreamt of experienced the raw name, natural wilderness of Borneo firsthand. This is an ultimate journey. This 10 day journey showcases the area's rich cultural and natural heritage while serving up scrumptious comforts and luxurious amenities. So it starts in Kuching, um, does the highlights in Kuching, Mulu, and then goes to Danan Valley and then Kota Kinabalu. Along the way, you'll visit animal sanctuaries, explore unique caves, venture hidden rivers and valleys, and then cap off the journey with stunning aerial views of Sabah's lost world, Malia Basin. Um, you'll experience a breathtaking um, Kota Kinabalu on a privately chartered power yacht, and you'll catch a glimpse of the Borneo orangutan from one of the most spectacular canopy walkways. 
this program, you'll be staying at luxury properties, including the refined Co. 55 in Sarawak, which was built originally as a holiday home for a prominent Iban family. This sprawling villa has now been reborn as an intimate retreat with 13 rooms, two suites, and currently one villa and two pools, one freshwater, uh, which is near the back of the house in the picture, and then a new, the salt water one, which is over the river or over the, the bay there, because you don't want to swim because there's alligators. So they have the two pools. Um, it's a stunning, stunning property in Kuching. Um, and it's about 30 minutes outside of Kuching. So this can be um, a great hotel option for clients that are staying in Kuching and maybe not doing this tour, but doing a different tour as well. And coming soon, so uh, we'll have this program out in the first quarter of um, 2020, is uh, inspired by Crazy Rich Asians. So in collaboration with our EXO Singapore office, we're developing a Malaysia red carpet tour. Although the movie depicted glamorous lives of Singapore's upper circle, most of the scenes were actually shot in Malaysia. So these experiences in multi-days, including a combo tour with Singapore, will highlight the seven stunning film locations used for this blockbuster, such as an experience at the Astor Bar at the St. Regis in Kuala Lumpur, Carcosa Serenagara in Kuala Lumpur, which was originally built in 1896 for the British High Commissioner of Malaysia, and it will be the afternoon high tea and stays at properties like the stunning Four Seasons Langkawi will be included in the multi-days as well. So getting a really kind of a highlights tour of Crazy Rich Asians. So I just wanted to highlight that one of our current experiences, um, our workshops, the introduction to the old age handicraft and EPO, the lantern workshop. Um, is suspended, will be suspended from May, um, or from now till May or June 2020. As our host has informed us, they will be out of Malaysia at this time. Um, so we are looking for a replacement um, up until May or June. Um, and when we do have an alternative, we will let everybody know through the e-newsletter. Um, but we do have a lot of new insider access and workshops. Um, some of them I highlighted here, especially um, outside of EPO and Kuala Bangsar, um, that you can easily add in if clients are looking for that interactive experience outside of EPO during that time. So thank you very much for listening. Um, you'll receive a link to the webinar in a few days time. In case you have any follow-up questions, please feel free to contact me. Um, my email is on the website as well as hopefully most of you have it. Um, so continue to stay tuned for the next webinar series by EXO Tra Travel. And we will bring you a new uh, webinar for EXO Malaysia in 2020. Thank you again for listening and have a great day. Again, if you have any questions or need any additional information on any of the programs, please don't hesitate to give the EXO Malaysia team an email, uh, whether it's through uh, product uh, myself or through the inbound team. We'll be happy to help. Enjoy the rest of your day. Happy holidays. Have a great day.